Hello, everyone. Don't touch me. Harry refuses to hug Meghan at the Columbia Forum after noticing her sweat stains. Oh well, my condolences to Meghan. If Harry can't stand Meghan anymore, Meghan's life will probably be over. Because I don't think anyone will be more stupid than Harry. Harry even became a guinea pig for Meghan to reveal her true nature. Actually, Meghan was disgusting too. Let me explain. On her first day in Colombia, Meghan Markle was supposed to be dazzling the crowd with an eye-popping collection of luxury outfits. However, she failed to live up to her expectations. After all, what is the point of traveling to a developing nation if you don't show off a wardrobe that is worth more than the average annual salary of the majority of people. However, unfortunately, the only thing that anyone is talking about is Meghan's encounter with crotch sweat, which was a rather unfortunate outcome. When Meghan arrived in Bogota, she did so with all of the opulence and lavishness that we have come to anticipate. A navy vest that costs 598 is here. Navy trousers that cost 448 are there. And don't forget the Loro Piana handbag that costs 3775 there. And of course, she couldn't leave the house without accessorizing with a pair of Pippa small earrings that cost a cool $650. For the simple reason that the good people of Colombia would not have any other way of knowing that they were in the presence of royalty. Additionally, as if that weren't enough, Meghan couldn't help but add more bling to her ensemble, over 15,000 pounds for a diamond bracelet designed by Lorraine Schwartz, assumed a Cartier bracelet with a value of $7,000, and to put the cherry on top of the cake, a Cartier watch that costs $24,900. The footwear that Meghan opted for was a pair of black heels by Manolo Blanique, which cost her an additional £5,095. Meghan's outfits obviously cost a lot of money. You could say they're luxurious, but when Meghan wears them, they look cheap. Do you think so? If you think so too, agree with me, comment number one. Otherwise, if you think Meghan looks beautiful in those outfits, comment number two. It is abundantly clear that no expense was spared. However, the outfit that Meghan chose to wear to the Responsible Digital Future Forum that was held at EAN University was the single most impressive thing that she wore that day. In this picture, she was wearing a chocolate brown shirt by Victoria Beckham that cost 597. I'm talking about the same Victoria Beckham who, according to rumors, may not be sending Meghan any more free samples after their friendship allegedly deteriorated. Meghan was obviously going for a chic and laid-back look when she wore the earthy shirt with glossy trousers and suede sandals in a burnt orange color to achieve her look. To put it another way, by the time Meghan and Harry were posing for photographs, the outfit would not have been able to withstand the pressure that they were under. When compared to her expensive jewelry, the only thing that stood out more was the series of sweat stains that had taken over her ensemble. When Meghan chose to wear this particular outfit, what exactly was she thinking? A member of her entourage could have made the observation that a dense and dark fabric might not be the most appropriate option for a day in Bogota that is characterized by high humidity. Nevertheless, it's possible that she was more concerned with the cost than the usefulness of the item. After all, when you are trying to impress a crowd with your fashion prowess, who has the time to worry about something as insignificant as sweat? The fact that Meghan, who is known for her love of expensive labels and carefully curated appearances, was brought down by something as simple as perspiration is astonishing. Bear in mind that this is not just any perspiration. It was impossible to miss the telltale signs of crotch sweat being present. There was an immediate outpouring of comments on social media, which ranged from utter disbelief to outright mockery. If she is sitting down, why is she sweating in those areas when she is not sweating in the other areas? Someone who was particularly perceptive asked the question. In addition, the fact that Prince Harry appeared to be physically removing himself from the entire situation was not exactly helpful. Reports indicate that after he became aware of the stains, he chose not to embrace Meghan and instead chose to keep his hands 
firmly behind his back. That is going to hurt even more than the sweat itself. So get ready for it. As the day progressed, Megan's selections for her wardrobe became the topic of conversation, but not in the way that she had hoped it would be. But it wasn't the bling. The designer labels, or even the exorbitant price of her outfits that brought her the most attention than anything else. That's not the case. It was the unsightly sweat stains. Now, what is the takeaway from this? One possible explanation is that there is no amount of money that can buy good taste, or at the very least, a fabric that is more breathable. Megan, the next time you are packing for a trip that will be seen by a lot of people, you should choose something that is a little less sweaty. I still don't understand until now. Why are they even there? They have nothing to offer. They don't represent a country or the royal family. Totally gratuitous. Scoping our dealers or something? Maybe she is there to get a piece of a Colombian's husband. See the footage going around? Look at Megan's outfit. Looked like cheap poly satin pajamas from Temu, put back on after a busy night without a shower. In addition, how many times a day does the former yacht girl change her expensive outfits? Anyway, wardrobes may be expensive, but she makes them appear tacky and Goodwill Box rejects. Why would he put his arm around Megan? He previously had his arm around the beautiful Colombian interpreter. Oh no, I remember now, that pretty lady wasn't an interpreter, but the director of the National Arts Center. Regardless, she had a pleasant interaction with Harry, while Megan tried to make it not so obvious that it bothered her. But the foot tapping, jaw clenching, deep breath out, and tense stance gave it away. Oh, she actively ignored that lovely lady to the right, and that's when the lady looked slightly uncomfortable. But with Harry, she seemed to have a pleasant exchange. She initiated their conversation herself a few times and leaned in, as he did too, probably because it was quite loud around them. Just like the brown ensemble she wore in Canada when they thanked the government for their stay in Vancouver. The shades of brown did not match together, including her shoes. Honestly, if I were Harry, I would not let my spouse leave the house like that. I'm a girl, and I would not leave the house in my pajamas. Saw the same immediately. I'm not a fashion maven, but I'm good with color. It probably looks fine in person. Light and cameras pick up on hues we don't always see with the naked eye. This is why someone in the spotlight like this should always photo and video test outfits like this. I'm 100% positive Catherine does. Clearly, she doesn't know how to properly present herself at all. The colors are too close and also not close enough, so the shirt and trousers don't work. And the fabrics are too dissimilar too. She looks a mess, but she only wore brown and beige to blend in when she was in the royal family. Hmm, right? Not only that, still not as bad as the Wimbledon outfit. Cream pants with a blue and white striped top. I'm no fashion expert, but that was jarring even to my eyes. However, there's one thing even the most carefully curated image can't hide. Crotch sweat. Ah, uh -huh. the great equalizer. You'd think someone with Megan's supposed flair for fashion would have figured out a simple solution by now, like perhaps wearing a dress that not only flatters, but also discreetly prevents such unfortunate occurrences from being on display. But alas, it seems our self-proclaimed style icon is struggling with the basics. And let's be honest, no amount of designer labels can save you from the embarrassment of visible sweat stains. And then there's the choice of pants. Lounge pants. Really, it's as if she's trying to recapture the carefree days of her past. But newsflash, those yacht days are long gone. At a certain point, one has to accept that dressing appropriately for the occasion is a sign of maturity, not a sacrifice of personal style. But Megan, it seems, is still clinging to a bygone era, hoping that these two casual trousers might pass for something chic and sophisticated. The truth is, these aren't even real pants. They're glorified pajamas, better suited for a lazy day indoors than any public appearance. Unfortunately for Megan, the public's eye is sharp, and such lapses in judgment are impossible to overlook. It's a hard lesson that not every outfit 
is a hit, especially when you're still trying to relive your yacht days in the harsh light of a very different reality. I'm curious about your thoughts. Please share them with us. Are you in agreement or disagreement with the fictitious royal trip that Harry and Meghan took to Colombia and that woman's pathetic outfits? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. I am grateful that you watched my video. Do not overlook the importance of showing your support for us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. We will see each other again soon.